Welcome to Bite Size Data Science. I want to do a follow up to the discussion on business understanding from videos 51 and 52. It relates to terminology, assumptions, and misunderstanding. Let me start with a couple of examples. Many years ago, in the early days of web applications, I asked an executive something like, Do you know the main characteristics of web applications? The answer was yes, it has a stateless interface. Note that this was before the advent of application servers. I could have left it there and go on with my concerns, but instead I asked, do you know what that means? It didn't know. That was probably more direct than it should have been, but I had a good relationship with this executive and knew I could be direct. I quickly explained some of the implications. This way, I was able to bring us on the same page and have a frank discussion on how to proceed. Here's another example. I had a regular discussions with an executive on a varied number of subjects. One of those subjects was Y2K. On multiple occasions, he gave me his opinion on this subject. This did not impact any of my projects, so I left it as casual discussions. In an exchange, much later, he told me, laughing, that he had recently realized that Y2K stood for year 2000. In any data science projects, there is a lot of different technologies involved. This means that we have a lot of terminology that is used day in and day out. When some terms become central to multiple discussions, we need to be vigilant to make sure we all have the same understanding of it. There is another way terminology can raise issues. The first one is when the terminology relates to methodologies. It is important to know the methodology used. If it is based on a book, it can be worth reading that book. In some cases, these methodologies could introduce some dogma that could easily derail discussions, even with offhand statements that contradict the dogma. We can think of times where momentum was behind object databases. Other times, it was no SQL. It applies to open source versus commercial products, and even which open source product. To convince people, you need to understand where they are starting from. You can get an inkling of these types of terms based on the terms that are used regularly in discussions. Your understanding of these terms may be different from what is understood by different people. Bringing it in the open will help bring issues in the open. There are many terms and terminologies that are used as part of data science projects. If we looked at possible repositories, we can look at Hadoop solutions, relational databases, flat files, and so on. There was a period of time where many people were against relational databases. Other people favored the use of NoSQL repositories. Before talking about a specific repository, we need to discuss what is being used and what are the pros and cons. This way, we can avoid introducing new repositories if it is not needed. It could also raise issues with existing repositories and open the door to new ones. The same goes for other aspects, such as programming languages, libraries, and so on. When we bring into the open the differences in understanding on terminology and discuss biases on different technologies, it opens the doors to better communications that can lead to eliminations of bias and to better solutions. See you next time on Bite Size Data Science, and don't forget to subscribe.